All right, hey everyone, welcome back. It is Monday, uh, I don't know what day it is. It's the 11th, I think. Anyways, I got some new tires on the front of my service truck. They were getting a little bit worn on the, they weren't like worn out, but they were getting a little bit worn on the sides. It was starting to kind of drive, not very good. Um, don't have that many miles on it, but they were just kind of cheap tires that came with the truck new. So anyways, getting started out with that, we're gonna be moving some equipment around today and doing some stuff like that. All right, we are uh, pulling the corn head up. We got it all cleaned up and greased and stuff. And uh, we're gonna pull it up here and put one of these older barns, but uh, we gotta do a little bit of work on the barn. So dad should be having the genie up here shortly to, uh, oh, he's already up here. So he may have already dropped it off and went back too. So anyways, he's got that up here cause we gotta fix the roof a little bit. But uh, we're gonna get this in here and we're gonna back this in the barn. All right, we got it backed in there. We got the door half shut. In the same wind event that tore up the roof there, it tore up the doors. This one kind of fixed itself, sort of. And then the other one is like ruined. Like it bent the whole rollers and everything. So it won't, I can't get it shut, so. We at least got that shut halfway until we uh, get up here and work on this pretty soon here. All right, well, apparently we're fixing it today because Cody and Colton just got here, so we'll call them the roof fixing crew. Anyways, they're working on that. We're gonna try to get a little bit, and then uh, we've got a other piece of metal we can put on there and try to get it patched up. All right, it is Thursday, yeah. Yesterday we worked on that barn all day and finally got it back in shape and everything. So uh, today we are working around. I'm gonna, we're gonna get this barn ready to put cows in here. Um, so I, we got this straw unroller thing. So I'm gonna back in here and cut this net wrap off and see how this will work. All right, we'll get this net wrap cut off here and see what we can do. We got the little 4040, so. Uh, we got to set up some gates up there towards the front. Uh, we're not going to go all the way right now, but up there towards the front, we're going to set up gates. So might as well use this while we can instead of using the blower. So cut this off here. And... All right, this thing seems to be working pretty decent, I think. I'm just taking it slow, but it's unrolling it right off there. Worked pretty good. All right, well, we just went and switched out that bagger. Uh, I'll talk to you about that a little bit later. But anyways, the one roller was not rolling. Like this is supposed to roll like that. But I got to the end of the bale and this one stopped rolling. So we called him, told him to come out here and fix it. So he brought it back to the shop so he could uh, get it fixed. Cause it's brand new. So it ought to work pretty good. So anyways, uh, we got some stuff to pick up here. To get this barn cleaned out a little bit, I got some wood and some metal and stuff from when they took the roofs off the silage wagons. So we gotta get that picked up. And then uh, we're gonna try to put the gates, I think from this water tank right over to about right there. Um, and then we'll have cows right here in this area. And then either, either side of the lean to they're not going to be getting fed any uh, silage quite yet because they're just on hay right now. But after they have calves, we'll start feeding them silage. So we'll have to have the 
lean tos open. Uh, we we're getting this manure spreader hooked up to the 7630. Um, we got waiting. We got to get get our uh, PTO adapter because we don't have the right size. So we got to get the adapter. Uh, hopefully the 7630 will handle this spreader okay. Uh, we're gonna try it out and see how it does. I think it'll be okay. But uh, we've been running the 4840 on it, but figured this might be a little bit better in the winter time. So. Anyways, we gotta get this rest of this stuff picked up and get another bale straw in here at some point. All right, I had to get the cab cleaned out on this 9220 and the McFarland is ready to go. So we're gonna go take this downtown and put it inside and uh, then this will be done for the winter and then get back up there and work on putting some straw in again. All right, so here's a new bagger. Uh, we decided to trade. This one came about. Um, it's actually a pre-production model, so it's not even, I don't know if it even has a serial number really. Um, but anyways, ours was getting to be about 10 years old, I think-ish. Um, anyways, we were starting to have a little bit of trouble with it. We weren't really thinking about trading it, but uh, this one came about. and our, The guy that sells them to us got a hold of us and told us about this one, so... Uh, it's not really a new one. It's a it was a demo. So I mean, it's just slightly used um, But anyways, it's a, there's a lot of difference. This is a 12 foot bag uh, Versus our other one. I think was a, a little bit smaller. I don't want to say exactly what it was maybe a, a 10 or something so um, Anyways, it's a new there's a bunch of new features on this one compared to the other ones. So um, Should be pretty exciting to use the next spring We'll have to get it figured out. I'll show you guys as we're figuring out. Um, but anyways, it ought to be pretty nice. We can get uh, about 100 more ton in a 200 foot bag. So we'll end up with about 400 ton of silage in a 200 foot bag where we would usually have about 300 with the other ones. So uh, nice upgrade with uh, being a demo like that. Um, wasn't quite as expensive as a brand new one, but uh, it still was not cheap. All right, we're getting us McFarland back in here. We're back in front of the Demco trailers. Um, and then we'll have a semi bay to pull straight in with here. All right, we got the other bale put in and we got the gates set up, so. Uh, it's ready for cows. So we're gonna take this back down and put it in the shed. And I guess that'll be it for tonight at six o'clock. So see you in the morning. All right, it is Friday. Down here, we're gonna start washing on the combine, uh, breath the pressure washer with, and uh, get this out here. I'm not gonna start it right now. I'm gonna go get some lunch and bring the fuel caddy down to the other shed. And then, but I'm gonna go ahead and back this out first. Uh, and then we'll get back and get ready to wash. All right, well, I just spent like an hour going over Taking off shields, I didn't. I I always forget how many shields are on this machine versus the 9870s. Um, so I've been pulling shields off. I haven't got them all that I'd like to get off, but I've got most of them. So I can take them off later or whatever. Uh, I could just keep going for days and just taking shields off, and I, and I probably will. Um, it usually takes somebody having to stop me, to tell me just to quit. Um, cause I'll just keep tearing it down and taking shields off and cleaning. So anyways, we'll get, go get some lunch, drop this fuel trailer off and, uh, and we'll come back and get started on the combine. It was like 20 degrees this morning and, uh, I was not looking forward to coming down here and doing this, but now it's up to 48 and I'm like sweating. I'm going to have to take this off, which, uh. I guess that's a good thing. The sun's out, so that makes it a lot nicer. Good day to wash outside. All right, I'm getting suited up here. So I got these new rain gear. We'll see how long they last. The last pair I bought, it was a cheap, they're pretty cheap. They ripped right down the pants like, so uh, hopefully these are doing a little bit better. So we'll get out here and we'll start at the top and wash the dirt all the way to the bottom. And hopefully we'll at least get everything major off here today. All right, well, we've been washing for a couple hours now. 
burned through a whole tank of gas and I'm a mess. Um, but I'm getting ready to start it back up after it ran out of gas. Keep going. So I've about got uh, the top area done. So I got the grain tank all washed out for the most part. I mean, I'll have to get back in there and do the hand washing and stuff. But I was working on washing the top of the folding covers right now. All the engine bays washed out and everything. So I just got to wash the radiator out and then I'll be back down to, down to the ground, which is nice because I get tired of fighting with the hose falling down and everything. So uh, we'll keep washing here until we run out of daylight and then we'll call it a night. All right, I'm sorry, I'm a mess, but we got the combine back inside. I got the heater going, drying my clothes out. But anyways, it's looking a lot better than it did. Um, for perspective, there's that, and then there's the other one. So, I mean, that's just the side panels. I mean, there's a lot more into it than just the side panels and that stuff. I spent two, out, two or so hours in the grain tank and up on top of the combine. You just have to start up top and just wash everything down because you start at the bottom and then you go to the top and everything's just gonna cover. Um, so it takes a lot of time. I'd say I'm probably about halfway done. Um, this is the fast half of it that's done. Now it's just going through and uh, finding the little spots. Like I know I gotta do the auger. I gotta have somebody lift me up with the skid loader and uh, and so you gotta get around and, and pick at little stuff. Um, I know I gotta get back inside the combine uh, in the back and uh, get inside the sieves and everything. But uh, that can easily be done inside here and it feels much better than it does outside. I've got another heater so I could put one on both sides and be pretty nice on a, on a cold day. So uh, if we do wash tomorrow, I don't know, I'm contemplating taking that back home uh, and having them wash it because this pressure washer, it works pretty good, but it's kind of slow because it doesn't quite have the gallons per minute that the one at home does. All right, brought the pressure washer in and um, it's supposed to get down about 30. I mean, it'll never get down to 30 in here tonight, but uh, anyways, I just brought it in so wouldn't freeze. And uh, I guess we'll call it a night. All right, it's the next morning. Uh, I got a feed today. George ain't gonna be here, so um, letting the tractor warm up a little bit. I'm gonna do this, and then we gotta go move a frame rack at the body shop. Um, but anyways, we got all the straw in here the other day. Got some hay in the bale feeders. And uh, it's all ready for cows. So I don't know if he was wanting to move those today or uh, next week. But anyways, you're going to have to get that done. The 7020 is sitting outside because it's kind of broke. I don't know. I haven't really looked at it much, but it uh, won't steer. So the whole cylinder is out of it or something. I don't really know. You can see the cylinder, it, that's supposed to be straight, but it's disconnected from itself. So I don't know what we're gonna do about that, but we need to get it shoved inside here at some point, but we got the telehandler sitting in there, so we might have to try to do that sometime. All right, just loaded up for the first time, so I'm gonna go get this out and uh, then we'll have to come back and load again on our way back to the barn. All right, just got loaded up for the second time. Skid loader's back there somewhere. Uh, Stopped a few places, got that unloaded, loaded back up. We gotta stop one place and then it'll be ready to feed up there at the barn tomorrow. All right, just like that, we're back. So uh, we'll see what else is on the agenda for today. All right, I loaded up a skid loader. It came over here to, when I was feeding this morning, I remembered that I need to get this fixed. Um, they've been feeding on the ground and I don't particularly 
like feeding on the ground because uh, we spent the time to chop the silage, so we might as well make sure they use all of it. So these bunks are to the point where we can't pull up beside them anymore because they've it's eroded around it. So there's actually a feed pad right here, a rock feed pad that we put in a while back right here but this is not part of the pad so i don't understand why these ever got over here but i'm going to take the bucket and clean this off here and then pick these two up i brought the forks i'll pick these up and set them this way and then there's one sitting over there an old plastic one so i'll pull that over here just for another some more room so i'm gonna knock this out real quick and then i might go up and work at another feed lot all right that should work pretty good. I didn't really have enough dirt to get that all set up right, but it needs to get a rain on it, get settled down before I can fix where the holes were. So anyways, that ought to work a lot better than it was. Um, so I'm gonna get this loaded up. I'm gonna fix the driveway first, going out to the road and then get loaded up and get back to the farm. All right, we're loaded up, ready to go. Took about an hour, so. Uh, it's good to have done. It's not exactly perfect, but it's way better than it was. All right, well, I know you can't see much, but anyways, I came up here to the other feed pad. This is a concrete one, and uh, so I pushed off all the crap and put some gravel down because we were having trouble getting through with the mixer wagon in one place. So I think I got that basically fixed, but I got to go. So I'm going to load this up, pull it in the little barn for tonight, and... Uh, call today. Alright, Sunday. Cody's getting some hay out. I just took the net wrap off for him. Had to do something up over the hill and down here. I already fed the silage for today. So, not a whole lot going on. It rained a little bit last night. Uh, but other than that, not a whole lot going on today. We'll get the gate and I think that's all the hay we got to put out for today so hey everyone thanks for watching this week's video uh, Merry Christmas to you um, we're gonna be going to Gatlinburg over Christmas so um, please like and subscribe uh, leave a comment down below and share with a friend and we will see you in the next video